All right, folks, so I want to play a modern deck pretty soon here, so I should start testing the deck I want to play again. I got the, uh, I'm going to be doing the GP Detroit next week, but uh, I do not like those. Um, I uh, don't really want to play Mono Green Tron right now, so like I said last night, I'm probably pretty certain if I'm going to play, I'm going to play... Uh, uh, Eldrazi Tron. So, uh, as a result, we are snagging the uh, Team Open Top 8 list. Uh, no, uh, ninth place list, I think. Um, oh, no, the they, the placing gets weird. Uh, their team, I think, uh, was in... Mm, oh, no, this one was in ninth place. Uh, Adrian Clavel. So, congrats on the placement, and thanks for letting us borrow your list. So, uh... Not too much. Uh, they're playing Haunted Fengriff. Graf. I haven't really played this card, but I know that a lot of people are on it, so we're going to try that out. I'm cool with that. They're on the Karn package. Looks like our removal is two dismembers. Everything else looks pretty standard right now. Triple Mindstone. I like that a lot. Uh, of course, Quadruple Ley Lines in the side, because, you know, Hogek's a reasonable deck. So, let's get going and jump into this. And it is an irregular night for me. I don't have school really this week, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, just get as many games as I can in. I know I normally don't stream on. Uh, I normally don't stream on the weeknights anymore. Right now, while I have school, so might as well take advantage of it while we can, right? for the washing machine and dryer running in the background. I've been gone for quite some time with uh, being away at Denver, so I had to get caught up in all my laundry. Uh, obviously a good sign that we're supposed to be on this deck. Uh, Natural Tron, ready to go. Turn two Chalice. We got ourselves a Ballista and a Reshaper as well, so I would say we're doing pretty well. Looks like we're going against Hardened Scales. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, so... I'm gonna pull up the list real quick, because I don't know it by heart. Uh, I'm trying to see if one or two is more beneficial. And I want to say it's two, because that's where a lot of their good payoffs are. Um, so we'll hold off, I suppose. And we'll just run it back to them. Might want to take the advantage and go fetch up a blast zone. That would be pretty good, I think. Sure. Let's do this. Go fetch up a blast zone. They get that. We're gonna drop this. We'll go chalice on too. Drop a reshaper. What's up, humorous bloom? For yeah, I get to be live tonight, so thanks for joining. And we are on Eldrazi Tron tonight. Try to see if I can jam two leagues before it gets too late. Three for one, then. They get to put quite a few counters on the Ballista, but then the shenanigans go away. I'll take that. Nice, man. Glad you dig the content. Yeah, I think I'd probably play the most uh, Tron out of all the other people that are playing it, but I don't stream as much, so I know other people do play quite a bit. 
glad that you're enjoying the content, though. I'm trying to push out as many videos as I can, so. Use a ghost card to take care of the ink moth for a turn. I can double activate it. Alright, let's run out the smasher. See if we can do some smashing. Oh yeah, let me uh, update update it on Stream Decker because I think it's on Mono Green Tron right now. All right, just updated it, so it should be on Eldrazi Tron with the Karn Wish Board, so you can see the full board. Good. An absurd amount of mana. Okay with those blocks. Shoot that for one. Looks like they didn't shoot in response. And uh, we're left pretty happy here. Uh, right now, I do think Eldrazi Tron's in a better spot, unfortunately. I think we're just going to take out the two contortions and add in the two all is thus. There's possibly an argument of bringing in the ley lines, uh, because you, if you bring in the ley lines, you can stop like the arcbound triggers and the uh, Ravager triggers, but I just think it's too narrow here. Yeah, at least for a little bit, Eldrazi Tron's going to be, be uh, better. Uh, the whole format could shift if something gets banned. So, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about banning something out of Hogak. A lot of a lot of talk about banning Faithless Looting. Um, so, I, can, I think we have to kind of wait and see. Uh, if you're trying to buy into a deck right now, I think that's a... Um, you know, like, it's not... The core of both decks are, are there's a lot of similarities if you're going to be good doing the card wish board for both sides, so at least that's pretty good. We got two interactive pieces here, let's keep this. this boy and then we'll take out the steel overseer on our turn Eldrazi right now um, it, the problem is Tron is just really slow I think and I don't think it has a solid uh, place against the bridge find deck, unfortunately. I'm gonna run this out on one. 
Yeah, Eldrazi was completely out of the game for a while. Nobody was playing it, and Mono Green was top dog. But if you kind of look at the percentage, like, go take a look at the percentage played in, like, the recent top eights. Um, it's just dropped really heavily for where we used to be. So, like, we're in ninth place right now on percentage play, where it used to be a... We were, like, second, and now Eldrazi Tron's, like fifth so it's not that much of a difference and you can and there are still definitely people that are placing with the deck so it's not like it's completely irrelevant by any means um so if you do want to play it you know still do it that's absolutely fine i think we're going to drop this and take up that mimic They're swinging, we're just gonna take this. See if we can get Karn out and protect it a little bit. I think we're just gonna run it out there, uptick on the Dark Steel Citadel. I'll we'll have to block the hangar back. Yeah, if you can, uh, so if your meta has a lot of control on a lot of vine decks, I think it's a pretty good call to be on Eldrazi Tron. If it's a ton of control, you may want to increase your count of, uh, your count of, um, caverns just to deal if there's a lot of counters being thrown around, but if there's not, you're probably fine. And uh, as far as Grixis Death Shadow, yeah, if you can land a Chalice on them, you're pretty solid. But if not, it's a pretty close matchup, actually, which is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, let's uptick again, take out the Opal. I'm gonna drop that, and let's just run out our Endbringer. And they should have a pretty tough time dealing with this board, so yeah, they're done. Yeah, I mean, when Grixis Death Shadow was at the top, uh, I played a ton of Eldrazi Tron just because it was a s pretty sweet matchup. You were able to um, race them pretty well. You're, you could clog up the board, land a Chalice on one. A lot of your th uh, threats were um, creatures, so they couldn't deal with you too much. This looks sweet. We'll have a uh, turn three Tron, maybe, if we want. And we also have a turn... Oh, we're getting our hand ripped apart. We're, they're definitely going to take this map, right? Yeah, I think the only downside to... Uh, well, I, I guess no matter where you go, whether it's Eldrazi Tron or Tron, um, there's a price sticker of like $800 to $900 you got to deal with. Um, on the plus side, Leyline uh, getting reprinted made the price drop, so that's sweet. Um, other than that, let's see, like... So, like, the ballistas are whatever. They're kind of expensive, but they're not terrible. Um, the core of the deck, I mean, you're really going to be dropping the money on the chalices. And then uh, most of the rest of the deck is, like, fine in cost. Um, caverns is expensive, so that's another uh, downside. Alright, we're just going to run out this chalice on a one. See if it resolves. Oh, it does? Okay. Oh, okay, so we're going to get to Jundir. Man, a card that I really wanted to pick up was uh, Renin 6. I just didn't think I was going to shoot up in Bryce like that. Definitely a mistake in my thoughts here. I'm gonna pitch this ballista. It might have been better to pitch the chalice, but 
Chalice on two is pretty good against them, but we might be pitching it here now. So we've got no cards in hand. If we uptick, we don't hit anything. If we downtick, they it dies, so we hit a land. So let's just uptick on nothing, and we'll pass it over. I think we're gonna grab the lattice. I mean, not the lattice, the liquid metal. And then what we can do is just turn off their Liliana at least. So we'll stop on their upkeep. Uh, we're stealing a list. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just running it how they ran it. Um, and I feel I'm mixed on. Ulamog, I feel like you have a hard time casting him in Eldrazi Tron over regular Tron because you can't you can't just uh, if, you know always get the mana when you're playing Etron. You kind of have to stumble into it sometimes because you only have the four black leaves. I mean the four um, not black leaves, the four expedition maps. Mm mm mm. In a bit of a predicament. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about this. I'd like to get the Thought Knot in play, but if we play Thought Knot, um, we'd have to uptick on the Lily again, so then they'd be able to activate the Ravine, but I guess Karn could take one hit. So let's run that. Yeah, <laughs> I did uh, do that for a little bit for one version, I'm sure you saw. And uh, it was kind of interesting that we could do that, uh, go about it that way, but I found that more often than not, it just, like, people didn't care. And that one extra mana was huge. I, uh, I got burnt by that a fair bit. All right, so that's actually interesting that they made a sack, um, a creature. They drew a card and they blew up our thing because now we can actually drop our Karn and we can take out the ravine. We can discard to this with no problem. They can't alt with Lily anymore. So if it comes back to our turn and we still have a card, we can uh, lock them out of the game. Oh wait, no, we're one mana short. And now we can't do the lock. How rude. Well, we can ensnaring bridge. So we might as well stop the Lily on their turn. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we'll pass it over. Yeah, chaining relics is so sweet. Hmm, see some pyromancer. I'll dig it. Six. Mm. Well, there's a land, so let's do that. Well, minus. Get ourselves a fun little lattice. Drop the lattice. Let's see if our opponent wants to save us the time. Yep, they do. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think I really want to take anything out. Like, I always feel I have mixed emotions about Chalice because I kind of hate it um, in this mat uh, at times just because they have a diverse thing. But I think here we'll keep it because we don't really have much to bring in. Sounds sweet. Got a turn three thought knot. If we side in ley line and it's a game that you need to hit it, you're pretty much mulling to it because you cannot cast it. <laughs> One other version of each round that we played did run a one of Urborg, so we could cast it. But with the way the meta is right now, it's pretty much if you don't hit it, you're going to lose anyway. Yes, I'll be very excited when the London Mulligan hits. I think it's such a good uh, decision for them to get that going. Yeah, I really liked it when it was on MTGO as well. I, I thought after they made that announcement they would make it live on the MTGO, but uh, apparently not, so... this mind stone ramp ourselves a bit if I can chalice on two I think I'd be pretty happy with that stop a lot of their big threats hmm there is an oof for us nice of them. Well, I guess we will run up this map we can't crack and drop this reshaper. I've been impressed with the oof. Oofy. Oof. Yeah, I have been seeing quite a bit of John and quite a bit of uh, Rock on MTGO. I think we're gonna 
pitch the all is dust. We're just so far away from casting it right now. Gonna run up the chalice, see if they blow that up, or if they want to hit one of our other things. And they make us uptick. We're probably dipping on the probably the Karn, I guess. I am from Michigan. And as far as any upcoming events, I have GP Detroit next week. I'm going to go to SCG, um, what is it, Indy, uh, at the end of this month as well. So I think that'll be pretty fun. Uh, I think there's some IQs that I'm going to try to go to as well. But I think those are the two main events for me for, uh, for this month. Um, I have to take a look at the events for next month before I commit to anything. Um, the GP Detroit's a sealed event, so I won't be... Oh, man, that's a bummer. We really could have used the land there. Um, let's swing at Lily. Um, I'll probably be playing a Tron deck. I just don't know if it'll be this Tron deck. It's probably going to be this Tron deck. Because I just don't really want to be on Mono Green Tron. Um, I'm having my friend put together Esper Hero for me as well in case I want to play that in Standard. So that'll be fun. But yeah, the limited uh, GP Detroit. I gotta hit up my friend on uh, some tips to play the that sealed format because we've got some really strong um, limited players in our area and uh, I usually lean on their advice on how to play different limited formats because I don't pay enough attention to it. So whatever advice they give me, I'm just like, well, that's the plan. We're going to make that happen. What about for yourself? Anything you want to get going into, jump into? Corrupt our chalice and bolt our reshaper. Now let's put that in our hand so we have something to discard to the lily. Yeah, Vegas. Uh, I was just talking to one of my friends that I travel with, and he was telling me that he might have a connect in Vegas, so he might be able to do that as well for a very uh, cheap price. How is the uh, tournament scene up in Canada? Do you get a lot of events you can just go to or no? So yeah, if I get to, uh, if I'm there, I'll let you know. On the stream, I'm, I'm usually posting about where events I'm going to be going before I head out. So maybe we'll be able to meet up, have a drink. I don't know if you're 21. <laughs> if you're not 21, maybe grab a bite to eat. <laughs> Valley for us. We thought we'd be able to snack the reshaper, but they had the combination for it. We're getting buried under this uh, slew of threats. I don't even know what we can really do. Uh, we play off the Smasher. We're forced to block the Goyf. Yeah, I think we're done here. Oh, that's sweet. This 
Sweet. Okay, I think we can make this work. It's not the strongest hand, but it's a, it's a solid hand. Yeah, I thought we've been meaning to go to like some of the can uh, Canada events because like it's not too bad of a drive for us since we're in Michigan. So like, uh, but we got to get everybody that doesn't have one to either get a passport or one of those super licenses. So the reason I thought this hand was solid is that we would be able to go Mind Stone into a Thought Knot. Um, obviously they took that away from us, but that was the main reason that I, I like that hand. Um, the Ballista can take out a Dark Confidant, but we haven't seen a Confidant yet, have we? There's a Run. Turning a land, okay. Sweet, that'll be cool. Let's run out that, play that, and we'll beat run for one. Actually, let's just swing at them. They're they've already hurt themselves quite a bit. Do you ever not shoot the Confidant? No, no, you pretty much always kill it. It'd be, it'd be like some really corner cases where you didn't do it. But I have a hard time imagining um, the scenarios because if it's early on in the game, you're just gonna shoot it. If it's late in the game, I don't know, like if it's late in the game, you're probably doing your, <laughs> they're just ripping our hand apart. Um, and they got so many cards in hand. Um, if they if it's late in game and you're doing a blista, like you're probably doing a blista for quite a bit, you know. All right, so we're gonna mind stone. Let's do it for two. Hold up the ghost quarter. We can try to do the haunted on the uh, see what we can bring back as well. Combination seems sweet. We're running six and Lily. Just get insane value. Wanted, can't cast it. Looks like we're gonna have to pass. We're just in a pretty awkward spot. <sighs> if we ghost quarter, they can just bring it back. They can't play it this turn, I guess. So. Um, let's see. If we're talking Eldrazi Tron, there was a modern premiere that went seven and one. There was an Eldrazi Tron and that went uh, in the team, and that's the one we're copying. The Classic had a 10th place one. Uh, 
There was a seventh place at the NRG series. I thought there was a first place list, wasn't there? Yeah, it was an IQ first place. We're just in a pretty awkward spot, aren't we? We can't really afford to give up our land, but if we don't get it... Yeah, I think this game's pretty much over. We're just getting buried in value. <laughs> Next turn, they're gonna be able to alt us. Yeah, this one's over. Yeah, and if you are picking up a deck, one thing that I will say that's um, you want to tune your deck to whatever your meta in your town is, in your local meta. Um, don't ever try to take exactly what a like a GP deck or you know an open deck and bring that to your meta because it might just not be relevant. You know, if nobody's playing a, a, a really uh, abusive graveyard deck, maybe that um, ultra, uh, four ley lines in the side is not necessary, you know? So just uh, always be aware of that. Alright, looks like we got a match. Mm -mm. I'm okay with this. Um, and a long time ago, as far as... Yeah, if your meta is only a couple people, like just play the deck you enjoy. You don't really have to worry about it. That's a good call. If, if you can do that, that's a really good way to go about it. I mean, if you are playing Eldrazi Tron, I've always been told that you need to keep uh, a hand that's doing something like abusive i guess in the sense that like or like not fair like you're forming tron you're powering something out with eldrazi lands or you're dropping a turn two chalice so if your hand's not doing one of those more often than not you might want to be shipping that hand um, so there i kept this hand because it had a turn two uh chalice and then it has uh, turn three here we're gonna have eldrazi to give ourselves four mana We just don't get cards. We get zero cards. next turn we get a Karn. That's always fun. Yeah, and, and a good portion of the, the games that you you know you feel out, once you get an idea of what you're supposed to be keeping, you're gonna be just fine. Looks like our Karn will stay alive, so let's drop Karn. That's minus. They're missing land drops. See if we can get this liquid metal coating. And then just start taking them off lands. I'm by no means a professional. I'm a grinder at best uh, as far as going to events. And that's only because I recently started coming back. Oh, they're cycling on Earth. Ooh, we should be good here. We're going to be able to take them off the of land. Yeah. 
They saw it coming. Looks like we were potentially going against just the green black rock version instead of Jund here. Yeah, if you, um, if there's a chance that you need it to make sure you have it, like, in that scenario, I minus, because if we lose our liquid metal, it's not the end of the world, and if we get to keep it, we're gonna, um, I'm, I'm doing a greedy keep here, by the way, because I want to see if we can just rip the other Tron piece. Um, so if you don't need to get it when you have, um, if you don't need to get it to win the game, or it's, like, crucial to be part of this game, and you can go fetch it up just fine. And but in that case, so in that case, there we fetched it up because we like didn't necessarily need to keep it in our hand to win the game or anything like that. But if we got it, it would have been sweet. We could have fetched something else up after that, and it would have been just fine. There are ways, obviously, to get back to it. To you. Obviously, like, you can get a relic or Tormod script and exile it and then go fetch it back up. But it's usually not where you want to be because that requires numerous upticks and downticks. Oh, they're possibly soul tie. Oh. So they're soul tie, or they might even be four color here. They're probably a shadow deck, though. That chalice would have been sweet. Okay, they're four color. So this is probably four color shadow. And the constant shocks are definitely leading me towards that. And there's the shadow. I wonder if I'm being greedy here, but we're going to find out. If they have a way to uh, damage themselves. If they have a street wraith, it might be a blowout or a bolt on themselves. Yeah, that's fine. Are they going to take the matter reshaper here because it's the only thing we are guaranteed to play? Nope, they took Thought Knot. Well, we get a re Matter Reshaper. Buys us an extra turn. If we had more mana, I probably would be Ghost Quartering their land, because they usually don't want too many basics. But because we're so light on lands right now, um, I don't want to put ourselves in a worse position. That's pretty sweet. Comes back to our turn. We get to keep that. We can form Tron. Nice. Don't shadow of doubt me. Don't you dare. Don't you do it. You're probably just going to trophy us, yeah.
All right, so if we smash her them, if we smash her them, that becomes a really big creature, and if they have any other spell, we die. If we don't smash her them, they can sell six, let's put us to eight. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we can't do it. Yeah, I grabbed a uh, temple there. Usually temple's your main plan when you're when it comes to fetching up lands. If they swing, we're going to take the hit. If they have a way to pump it and... Um, yeah, I was okay. If they had a way to pump it and uh, battle rage it, then we were just going to die. So... How do we stay alive here? We bliss. We could chalice for one. And ballista for one. Stubby. Okay. Oop, that's the wrong card. Well, if we can somehow get another turn and get another land, we might be able to all this dust here. I'm going to block here and shoot them. Have they ever played Worm Coil? They used to actually play quite a bit of Worm Coil in the deck. No land. That's no good. Try this again. Yeah, there used to be some... Some number of worm quells in the main deck, but once uh, once we started playing Karn, I think they had to just cut them. So they definitely don't have battle rage, otherwise they would just swing with both and we die. Moment of truth. Do they have a two mana counter spell? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, they misclicked. That's unfortunate. Looks like they actually, uh, Misclicked and it cost him the game. It must have meant to attack. Because we would have been forced to block. Yeah, there was really no reason for them not to attack. Because they, uh, if they. We were forced to block because they had a bloodstain mire that could just crack and we would die. Oh, well, they can traverse for a shadow. And that means we can't attack. Well, we need a threat. I 
that. That's not bad, but it's not enough. Hmm. I think we still lose, though. That's unfortunate. Shadow's just too large. What? They only swim with one creature. Why wouldn't they swim with both? Ballista, baby. Ah, we got a ballista. <laughs> Don't have a counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's quality magic right there, folks. Quality magic. <laughs> There's no variance in magic, folks. Zero variance. It's all skill. <laughs> Oh. All right, this hand, if there was another temple or something, we'd keep this, but this hand is just not going anywhere fast enough for us. We're going to ship this one. This feels much better. We're going to send that to the bottom. Oh, Etron's a lot worse against uh, humans too, by the way, even with Blast Zone. So if there's a lot, there's a hum um, just be wary of that. Blast Zone is a powerhouse though against them, which is really awesome. Right, looks like we're has Shift here. Shift is not a great matchup. Um, Chalice is most relevant on, uh, 0, 2, or 4. Um, doesn't look like we're getting to that quite yet. I don't want to do it for... If we get Tron, we can do it for 4 to stop shift, but if not, next turn I'm going to do it for 0. What utility lands do we have the side, uh outside of like waste and whatnot. Um, in this list, you're really just having your blast zone and then you have ghost quarter. Um, the rest of the lands I believe are just, oh, and the haunted Fengriff. Some people also play the scavenger grounds or they'll play the draw a card, discard a card. So that's pretty much it. Didn't have a ramp spell. It's kind of interesting. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, they're gonna trophy us. Okay. My thoughts of what we're going against has changed. feel like it's scape shift. Did they just go to like a more mid-rangey deck? That's Simeon. Oh, it's Breach Shift. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not good for us.
Ishmael Temple's a good start. I'm just gonna run out Chalice on zero here in case they have a pact. We're gonna see if we can somehow manage to race them. The only way we can do this is if they don't have another Titan. Or escape shift. So we need them not to have another payoff. Feels like a Titan. Feels like uh, we're losing a Reality Smasher. Really? Interesting. I don't feel like I would have done the other line. But I guess we're dead either way, right? Because if we swing... If we swing... Do we just drop Thought Knot? But then he just shoots it. No, well, no matter what, we're taking... Yeah, it's over. If they just swing, they we can't kill the prime time. And if they swing, they just hit us for 18. Awkward part about our sideboard is that we don't really have um, anything to bring in. But we don't really have much to take out either um, as a result of it. And there's nothing I really want to bring in. So I think we're just running this back. Contortion's really not relevant against them. Uh, I'm keeping in the dismember in case they do block with like a... Prime time, we can kill it possibly by bringing it down to like a 1 1 instead of the plus 3 minus 3. No matter what, I don't feel like it's great. hand does not do much. Oh, this hand doesn't either, but we're going to keep this one. We need to hit a we need to hit a temple here or another Tron piece. Otherwise this game's probably over. deal with that. We get to have uh, a thought knot here. That'll be sweet. I guess we're taking one of the packs. Mm. 
We need to rip another land. Or we need to hit another Thought Knot. We also kind of need them to whiff on a Ramp Spell. for the Pact for Ramp. Oh, they're going to get a Tracker? Okay. Dismember, I'll take it. really could have used the land though. So they're not going to do anything on their turn but play a Valakut. their land sequencing really interesting because they're just like not they're choosing not to cast that put the valley in play like no matter what and that will wrap things up Well, if they have a tracker, let's bring in the contortions. I, I think they were just like really valuing protecting that uh, that Valica because they didn't want to get it ghost quartered. But you kind of have to put it into play eventually. And obviously, they kept having a hand that could deal with it, but. We're gonna have a turn three thought knot. Might be okay. The question is, are we feeling Tron lucky or Temple lucky? For some reason, I'm feeling Temple lucky. Let's do this. And, and there, what I'm saying there is uh, we have a choice between playing the temple and say if we rip another temple off the top to play a turn two Thought Knot, or do we sequence the lands to go uh, see if we rip a Tron piece. And I was feeling temple lucky. So let's see how lucky we are. Not that cool. That's okay. We're going to run off this Mind Stone.
I still do have such a passion for Scape Chef. I love this deck. Well, let's play this uh, game we call us how many payoffs they have. Hopefully the answer is one. Ha, the answer is one. <laughs> Triple temple hands are godly. All right, they got a valor cut. I'm going to make them burn a bullet of their tribe elder. I don't want to let them be able to do two in one turn. So I'm just going to play this and force them to uh, use the tribe elder right now. I should have played the, the, the stone. That's absolutely the correct play there. That was a mistake on my part. Because I could have played the stone and then played the ballista still. And I could have done it the turn before. Just uh, not maximizing my mana at all. Good thing I got you here, pug. Call me out. Six, so yeah. We'll do the play we were supposed to do a while ago. And see if they have it. a shift so we're dead <laughs> I feel like they must be new They should have played the uh, the forest we know about, right? Did they just sack only four mountains? Is that still enough to kill us? It certainly is. I feel like, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're dead, right? But I loved overloading damage. We lost there. 
All right. One more match, and then I have to take about a 15-minute break to fold some laundry and cycle my laundry, and then I'll be back for another league. Yeah, I'll probably run another League of Eldrazi Tron. Um, I didn't really have any plans to play another deck right now. If there's a specific list you want me to play, I'm more than happy to tweak this list to that list. And you, you can uh, search for a list in between this next match or while I'm gone. Um, as long as I have a list before the time I get back, I'm more than happy to do that. Well, we've got to turn two chalice. So I'm going to keep this. Goodbye, chalice. Oh, we get to keep our chalice. Aw, oh, yeah, we get to go against Holgak. There's nothing we need to chalice for zero against Hogak, right? Everything's either one or two, so let's go ahead and pass it over. Yeah, Collar and Endbringer or Ballista is pretty sweet. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a, I should have been paying attention to the amount of cards in the graveyard. I should have dismembered his supplier in response to the grave crawler so they couldn't cast the Hogak. Man, that's awkward. I guess we're just powering this out now and we're just gonna try to cast Smasher. Buy a turn with Smasher. Even if we do, we'd have to rip the. Uh, once yeah, we're gonna have to rip a temple off the top, right? To even stay in this game. And even then, I think we're dead. Oh, it's got no. It has trample. We're dead. We're dead here. All right, we want to bring all of this in. I think the all is thus is too slow. Same with the end bringers. I 
think we could trim the chalices here as well. Let's bring all of that in. I think I want to bring in the cage as well because we can still carn up the Tormod's crypt. Well, we hit a chalice. I mean, a chalice, a ley line. So we'll keep this. And we get to do turn two chalice on one and that should be pretty much over for them I think they can still fight through this obviously but it'll be hard for them I hope oh they got a claim <laughs> oh well I mean that's fair we get a cyborg card they get a cyborg card <laughs> oh how tragic Got them on a pretty fast clock. to bring in the <sighs> I'm trying to think if I want to bring in the Tormod's Crypt here just for that chance of hitting it but I think it's better in our side for the Karn I'm trying to see if that number changes at all while we're in the play but I don't think I can do that math in my head I'm not that cool well we've got Natural Tron but this hand doesn't do anything to Hogak so we gotta ship this same with this hand. And this one. I guess we'll keep this one. We're not happy about it. <laughs> Bridge and a vine in the graveyard. We're dead. We're so dead. Goodbye, Chalice. Goodbye. On the plus side, they're on a one lander? This list does not run scavenging ground, so we can't exile the graveyard. Here comes Hogak. And Venge Vine, oh my gosh. Our opponent's so good at this. It's kind of absurd they can do all this with one mana. <laughs> oh.
So what can save us? We need to hit a temple off the top. I mean, not a temple, um, all is dust, but we sided out the all is dust because we were saying it's too slow. <laughs> and they're going to recast their Hogak now, too. Oh boy. Oh, that's not going to do it. This list doesn't have surgical, but I know that other lists do run surgical. So. All right, folks, uh, humorous, if you want to send me an Eldrazi trend list, I'm more than happy to swap over to that. Um, let's, I'm going to stop the video recording now.